Hi, this is Jamie. Here is a short video presentation of the process of one of my batiks. Prior to doing any measuring or cutting, the fabric is first washed clean and dried to remove all impurities from the cotton cloth. Once the cutting and measuring process is complete, then I begin drawing the design layout. This is an adjustable wood frame that was specifically built to create my batiks. Here I use push pins to stretch the fabric in all directions and keep it secure to the frame. A combination of beeswax and paraffin wax is heated, and here you see brushes and chanting tools. The chanting tool has copper and a spout that the wax flows through. Begin applying the wax with the tool over the lines that I drew on the fabric. These lines will remain white, the color of the fabric. Here you can see the color preparation process. First I use water and then I add in sodium carbonate and mix that until it dissolves. Next, softener salt is put into the water container. Next, I add nitrogen into the water and softener salt mixture. Once each chemical is dissolved in the water, then I pour the sodium carbonate water into the other container of water. Now, I have my chemicals prepared to mix in with my color. Each color that is mixed goes through this same process. Here you can see I am mixing a fire engine red color and testing the color on the fabric to the side. is referred to as the paint on technique because I'm painting in the liquid color on the fabric between the lines of wax. Somewhat of a watercolor effect can be achieved during this blending process. Here I use my chemical mixture water and I apply this onto the dry fabric. This gives me a wet surface to work with. As I paint more colors on top of this, I can achieve a beautiful blending technique. Now I start painting one of the fish, using a variety of different colors. Once I finish painting the fish, I will wait until the colors dry. You can see at the bottom right of the art where some of the colors have already dried from what I have painted previously.
more colors have been painted at the bottom of the piece. I layer wax on top of the dried color. This will hold that color in place. Now when I paint on the area with a darker color, you can see how the lighter color shows through. Building up layers of color and wax is a key element to batik. Once the base layers on the fish are finished, then they must be allowed to dry. This close-up fish, the color is dry, and then more wax is applied on top. The wax holds the color underneath. This process of painting, drying, and waxing is repeated several repetitions to get the textures, the color variations, and the blending causing an effect to create highlights waxing over the light colors first to hold those colors. The next step is applying wax to the finished dried areas. This wax application will prevent the background color from penetrating these areas. to the background painting, blending shades of blues with the chemical water and also adding water onto the dry fabric. Again, this is the paint on method and it's very similar to working with watercolors with the blending and the shading and the watery effect that you can achieve with this art and it goes really well with the theme and subject matter of this piece.
cleaning step is now complete. Then it will be covered and allowed to cure about 8 to 12 hours. Once this is done, the fabric will be removed from the frame. I'm going to demonstrate two methods of wax removal. The first, water is boiled in a large pot. The fabric is then submerged into the boiling water, removing all of the wax. The other method is to iron the wax off between sheets of paper. 